Hi guys, hello and welcome to Control Language Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will go over some of the very basic things that you need to learn about CL programming. You can pretty much think about it as this is hello world in CL programming. So, myself, Saad Yusuf, and here in a CL program, there are a few things to keep in mind. One is that it starts with the word PGM. Casing is not required, however we prefer, and it ends with the word and PGM written together as one word. Then we have some labels, start and end. Again, not required, but labeling is something that we prefer in this language. As you see on the first line, second line, fourth line, these are comments. This is the start of the comment, and that's the end of the comment. We do not have multi-line comments in CL. They are single-line comments. However, they do have a start and the end symbols. So you start with a slash and an asterisk, and you end with an asterisk and a slash. On any given line in CL, you have up to 80 columns. All these numbers that you see over here, 1 is basically 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. If you need more than 80 characters, then you can put a line continuation character, and then that will help you move on to the next line. So this is how you can continue to work with more than 80 characters, which I'll show you uh, in the next set of tutorials. To declare a variable in CL, we start with the DCL to declare a variable. If you're declaring a file, then it's DCLF. Again, something we'll cover later on in this course. Variables are declared with an ampersand, so ampersand must be used before the name of each and every variable, and throughout the program, you have to mention it with that, followed by the data type of the variable. All data type will be preceded by an asterisk, followed by the size. If it's not fixed size, then you need to provide size. Again, later on in the tutorial, I will also tell you that how you can give a default value to a variable so, and, and, and some of the other things. So this is the declaration portion. In CL, the declaration pro uh, process, the area, must precede the main program logic. So unlike some of the other languages that you may be familiar with, you cannot just declare variables wherever you feel like. So all the de variables are declared at the top, and then you use them in the main logic of the program. Down below here, on line 108, this is the line which talks about if you want to change the value of a variable, we use a command called change variables. All of these are actually commands. So the purpose of a CL program is instead of issuing individual commands with command prompt, you have put them all together in a program, which we're going to go instruction by instruction, running multiple commands and running them as a whole. So change variable command allows you to change the name of a variable with a value. So, so the value of a variable uh, with a different value. So here, the variable name is getting its value sad. And that's the name variable names value. On next line 109, this is how you display an output, which is SND, which is send, PGM program, MSG message, send program message. And I've used over here a keyword notation versus positional notation. Again, as a revision, uh, we have already learned about this in the previous classes. When we talk about positional notations in which you simply put the parameters in a correct sequence that the command requires, in keyword, you, ha you have a choice of writing the keyword and in parentheses you write the value. So here I've used a keyword notation. So message is the name of the parameter and in the parentheses is the value. So name is colon. That's a literal string in single quotes. We do not use double quotes here. We use single quotes. And name is the name of the variable. And I want both of these things to be concatenated. So in some of the other languages, high-level languages, if you're familiar with VB, we use an ampersand symbol. If you're familiar with Java, we use a plus sign or C sharp. We use a plus sign or JavaScript, we use a plus sign. Here, we use cat operator with an asterisk, which is short for concatenate. Later on in the course, we'll learn about different kinds of concatenations that you can use in this environment. But so far, this is what we are looking at. Now, once you're done with your program, all you need to do is compile a program. To compile a program, you simply can go under the Compile menu, and then you can choose from the menu 
uh, uh, create bundled CL program, or you can use CRTBND CL. Uh, either way, you could compile the program. So to compile a program, I click on the compile menu and I go under compile and I choose create bundle CL program. So bound CL program. So I click on that option and a CL program is basically generated behind the scene, which I can then go ahead and run. So right now I, I used an LPEX editor. So now I'm switching back to the green screen environment. So the tool that I'm using right now over here is RDI, Rational Developer for I. And in this tool, you can pretty much do a lot of things that you can do in green screen. Uh, in green screen, you would typically use an SEU editor. Here I'm using LPEX editor. Now, right here, I can call my sealed program. So this is how you run a sealed program. You can come to the green screen environment, and then you can issue the command call space, followed by the name of the program. So it is PGM1SP19, and then you simply press and enter. As a result, and that is the output it shows right down below here, name is SAD, because that's exactly what I told it to display. Name is followed by the variable's value. So again, it's a very simple program in CL, which allows you to declare a variable, change its value, and then display it. And these are the different areas of a SEAL program that you will continually see throughout this tutorial. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.